this whole COVID situation that's kind of been with us, you know, with the world for some time now, um, has kind of precipitated some of my thoughts when it comes to training and the pleasure of training. I don't know how many times I've, you know, had conversations with people over this time about training at home, training, missing out on training, you know, getting fat, losing fitness, losing muscle mass, all that kind of thing, because people can't get to gyms, people can't go to the spots where they usually train. Um, man, I, I, man, I haven't skipped a beat. <laughs> I remember probably seven seven years ago, I bought my, you know, the stuff that you see on the screen, bought a squat rack, bought a barbell, and, and then started to buy some weights as kind of my strength got better and better, and I found deals out there, I kind of bought these plates, that's why they're all kind of mismatched, nothing's really matching with anything, but I always kind of bought, you know, pairs of, of, of plates, um, so that was kind of seven years ago, and ever since then, man, I've been so much more happier training at home than in the gym, and I know a lot of people that I speak to, they're usually kind of opposite. They're usually requiring, um, you know, the atmosphere of a gym to kind of get motivated to get, you know, to go and train. Uh, for me, I've always had much more pleasure training at home when no one's watching. Um, there's no pressure from anyone in terms of I need to use that machine. I need to use that squat rack. I need to, you know, get here. You know, I'm waiting for the tap. I'm waiting for the toilet. I'm waiting for freaking anything. You're always waiting for something. Um, when I'm training at home, man, there's just me. And how much time do I have to spare on that day? And that's how much I'll work out, essentially. I love spending time next to the squat rack. I love squatting in the squat rack. I love squatting outside the square. I like deadlifting. I just like doing anything. Some days, man, I've, I've, I've been known to kind of spend three, four hours in here. Um, not working out the whole time, but like I'd, I'd kind of experiment with different things. I'd try this, try that. Like it's, I'm not really working out. I'm just kind of brainstorming and thinking about human movement, biomechanics, you know, thinking about how to improve. Um, when I go to the gym, man, I, I literally, I go there and it's literally a sprint. Uh, I just don't have that same comfort level. Um, I always feel like I'm kind of rushing. I, I don't want to be one of those guys that's hogging a piece of equipment. So I'm kind of in and out of there, like at worst 90 minutes, man. Um, I just don't feel comfortable. The music um, is just a whole lot of stimuli kind of helps you lift, you know, we've spoken about this, why I kind of sometimes feel stronger in the gym than I do, you know, in here in the garage, we even weighed the weights in the gym, um, you know, a few months ago, trying to search for the reason why I kind of feel stronger at the gym, and a lot of you guys kind of brought up some theories about psychology and why we perform better in front of people and, and music and all that stuff that I don't usually have um, in my garage. But, you know, with all of that, I might be kind of performing better in the gym over there. Um, but my comfort level is not what it is here. Over here, there's just no stresses. There's no stimulus at all. I, I, I never play music. It's just me and my thoughts and, and, and the barbell, really, and the weights. Um, and I just love spending time here. I listen to my body. Um, you know, I can hear the joints sometimes. I can feel... Um, there's just no distractions, there's no one walking around, nothing to look at, it's just literally the same old, you know, environment, day in, day out, and I don't know what it is about that, man, but I take so much freaking pleasure out of it, you know, I've, I've mentioned the word meditation um, in the past, and I've never kind of really been the sort that kind of sits with cross legs on, on the ground and, you know, assumes that yoga position and meditate in that sense, um, but just being in this environment with it being quiet, and no distractions, man, I just feel like I am literally recovering here. Um, my psyche just, is just a stress reliever. I can't explain to you. When I go to the gym, though, I don't feel the same stress relief. I feel like there's just more stress coming on because, you know, I'm lifting heavier weights. You know, there's little John freaking screaming on the, on the speaker. So he's bumping you up. Um, you know, there's, there's all sorts of things to look around and then get, get inspired there's dudes deadlifting, there's big guys around the gym, and you know, all that kind of stuff. It all kind of feeds into your, I guess, adrenal gland, and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're moving heavier things. And so it's not really a stress reliever at all. Um, but when I'm at home and I'm at peace, you know, I, <clears throat> I'm just sitting here and I'm doing these 10 doubles, I worked up to a top set of 180, then I ended up doing 10 doubles at, uh, at basically 80% of my one rep max. Uh, I'm just kind of going through that. I'm sitting there. I open up the garage. It's a sunny day today, even though it's still kind of winter. Um, it's a kind of cooler day, but there's sun. There's no wind. So it's a beautiful time. I'm just sitting here. I'm just freaking just meditating. I just take so much pleasure 
out of being alone really with the stuff I love to do. And, and today I just like, I just want to squat, man. I just want to squat. To me, the movement feels excellent. There's no pain anymore at all. I remember a few months ago I had hip pain when I was moving some of these weights around, like, you know, at 80%. Now there's no pain. Everything's balanced. I feel strong and I'm just getting on with it. And like, I'm not getting excited at all and I'm lifting 80% for 10 doubles. Just feel comfortable, feel happy. And it kind of gets me thinking about like other people in the world who are, you know, going about their form of life. You know, there's no right or wrong with this, man. It's just how do you want to live? There's so many different ways of going about life. Um, for me, man, is the simplicity. The more simple you make my life, the better it is. Um, like I'm not an introvert. I'm quite an extrovert. You know, a lot of people tell me I'm kind of the, the life of the party. I'm kind of vocal i like to tell stories i like to kind of talk a lot you know people at work tell me all the time oh here it comes you know story time with van you know pull up a seat um, so i'm not an introvert i know a lot of people will kind of like profile me as oh you're an introvert you don't like stimulus you kind of want to be in your own private kind of circle you don't want noise you, know, you don't like stimulus essentially those are kind of like your introverts kind of running away from noise and lights and you know all that kind of stuff I'm very much an extrovert, you know, I thrive in an emergency department, like I love people, I love being around people, um, but you know, when I, when, I, when I get home, I just kind of, you know, I don't know, I, I, I love going into the garage and being left alone, you know, you know, I'm screaming around the house all the time, yelling, you know, singing with the kids, running around, playing Hulk, playing Captain America, so we're very loud in, in, in our house, so I'm not a quiet person at all, but when I head into the gym, man, I just love to just no music, no nothing. Sometimes my kids come and join me, but that's uh, the most kind of stimulus I get training at home. Um, it's just it's just an interesting thing. It's kind of exactly the opposite that I, that my personality is. Uh, I get so much comfort and 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 relaxation and meditation. I just feel amazing when I do this. There's like this release that you that you have through kind of working physically against gravity you know doing these squats um but then mentally you just you just feel fresher and fresher after each rep it's just a, it's a beautiful thing and i just think to myself man people just do all sorts of things in life to get this type of effect and for me man i spent a few thousand dollars to get all this equipment and i've got this for life man now uh, man i'm gonna have this squat rack and these plates for a very very long time you know knock on wood god bless uh, you know have my health in the future man I'm just at my freaking happiest when I'm just like this, you know, do this, hang out with the fam afterwards, have some good food. And I'm just happy, man. I, such a simple thing in life, man. I don't know whether you guys are different, whether, you know, you see, you know, happiness in mansions and Ferraris and Lambos and, and, and all this stuff, you know, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm so simple, man. Sometimes I think to myself, I'm too freaking simple. Like, um, you know, a lot of guys have said, you know, why don't you buy some new plates and get a matching set? And for a time there, I wanted to buy like those steel plates from Rogue. Um, you know, it's all kind of like iron or steel, whatever the hell it is. I love the, the clackety clackety, you know, when you're kind of squatting. And then I thought to myself, you know, I can, but like, there's no point. Like this is, this is quiet. These bumper plates are quiet. They're mine, they're mismatched. I've got history with them. That's the other thing. I love old things as well. I love having an old Evo, Evo 7, man. It's like a 20, 21 year old car now. Um, before that, I had S15s. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just something about me that I, I just so much pleasure being in this room. And I literally got said, man, clean this freaking thing up, man. There's so much shit around. You know, when you're going to install the floors. None of that bothers me, man. I just come in here and squat the bar and just chill. Um, so I guess I'm one of those lucky guys that's found it in life. Something that just completely you know, it gives me pleasure, you know, I sometimes get pissed off in here, you know, in the last few months, I've kind of been frustrated with the, the hip pain or whatever, um, but if I'm in here and I'm moving weight and I feel good, my body feels fresh and all that stuff and I'm healthy, man, I, it's, it's, I can't get much happier than that, you know, um, I was, you know, I've said this in the past, I meet so many different people, you know, people that are really wealthy, you know, there's a lot of doctors at work who have a lot of money, you know, driving fancy cars and whatever and, like I see them and I'm like, you know, that's, that's fantastic to have, but I just want to go home and squat. <laughs> that's it, man. Like I, I'm a car guy, you know, I wouldn't mind an Austin Martin or 
I wouldn't mind a freaking, you know, whatever whatever car that they, they drive. The Merc C63s, I've seen all sorts of stuff. I even saw a, a Ferrari F430 or one, a work once. Um, and I see that, I'm like, that's I would love to drive it. Don't get me wrong. It's a cool car, you know, to go. But I don't get drawn to that. Like, I want to work really, really hard to have that. And to me, I just want to work really, really hard so I can buy some time back in my life so I don't have to go to work so much. So I can just spend more time with the freaking, with the squat rack and the fam. That's it, man. I just want to hang out with the family and just squat. <laughs> How simple of a dude can you be, huh? But that's me, man. That's me. And a lot of people kind of go through life chasing, you know, different things, trying to experiment with different things, you know. You know, get a promotion, get more money, buy this car, we'll go on this holiday and do this kind of stuff. And I don't know. Uh, to me, I'm just complete with the simple things in life. And I've heard, you know, philosophers uh, talk about this as well. Um, it's the simple things in life that bring you happiness. It's not all the, the glamour and the fancy things that only a lot of money can get you. It's not that. Sure, those things are, fan- you know, it would be really cool to kind of touch these things and feel these things. But the novelty kind of thing wears off, and you see it all the time, man. You know, Kurt Cobain, man, like, you know, pop, pops a bullet in his head, you know, at the prime of his life. Like, he's literally the king of the world, and one of the best musicians, one of the best artists in the world, and you see it all the time. Like, you can ring off names of people who have kind of been depressed while being at the top. Um, and I always just kind of wonder, how can you be depressed when you're so popular, you're so famous, you have so much money, you live in a mansion, you can have whatever you want, but there's a there's a there's there's a balance issue there. I think over the over the years I've kind of grown up and I've seen things that I've seen at work and people on their deathbeds they never talk about their Ferraris and their mansions and how many properties they have and how much money they had in in you know in their accounts. All I ever hear about people on their deathbeds talk about is their family, the people that they loved, how much time they spent married to the you know significant other, and that's all you ever hear. You don't th- hear about oh yeah man I, I owned fifteen islands and. 15 jets, you never heed that stuff. Um, so man, I, I just want to squat, spend time with the family and, and, and my friends and enjoy, you know, enjoy life with, with the people that you love. That's all, man. And then, you know, squat. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a simple guy, man. But I'm, I'm lucky. I guess I'm lucky that I've found it. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.